Well, today we are going to pinpoint rain. We're watching the tropics, this area of low pressure moving into the Gulf of Mexico today, likely becoming a depression, not so likely getting a name and becoming a tropical storm, although that could happen. The good news for us is we are not going to see this as a direct hit. It will overspread rain in our direction. Now, today's rain really comes from the sea breezes, but we will see this moisture already spreading into central Florida, more of it through the day. You can see this counterclockwise spin, this broad area of low pressure several hundred miles wide, bringing that moisture in our direction. So we will see a little bit of light rain on and off until those sea breezes come together. But within the next five days, the Hurricane Center gives this system a 90% chance of tropical development. Moving west northwest into the Gulf today, the computer models do agree a little more and keep it away from Florida, except for the extreme uh, panhandle region, the extreme western panhandle. This line here is one of the computer models trying to take it there. Each one of these lines indicating a different computer's idea by late Wednesday uh, where this system could end up. It could also end up in far eastern Texas. So we're going to be watching it closely, but again, not a direct impact, although we will see rain from it on into the rest of the week. So here's that second system. In the next two days, the Hurricane Center giving it a 90% chance of development right now, heading closer to the Lesser Antilles. In fact, here are the computer models by the middle of the week, likely there south of the Lesser Antilles, and then continuing through the end of the week, likely through the weekend, south of Jamaica, and then back over to Honduras, possibly. So due west, which is some good news, but it could strengthen with some warmer waters there. So we've got to watch that one as well. We could get two named storms, but not likely that we'll see this first one get a name. 73 is the temperature right now in Orlando at 75 in Daytona Beach, 79 in Melbourne. Here's a look at the pinpoint accurate forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. So again, rain chances today come with the east and west coast sea breezes as those come together and fire up mainly after 2 o'clock. We warmed to 86 degrees at 4 and notice a 30% coverage of rain at noon. And then after 2, our coverage goes up to 60%. After 8 tonight, only a 30% coverage of rain and temperatures still in the mid-70s as late as 11. There's the clouds and rain forecast, 9 a.m., sprinkle or two, all from that tropical moisture streaming in from the south. And then by two in the afternoon, the East Coast sea breeze tries to fire up a few showers and storms and look at that line. A little bit of one developing. This looks a little undersold. I do think by five, six o'clock we could have that higher coverage at 60%, some heavier downpours for the drive home right along I-4. So we've got to watch for that, especially this afternoon and early evening. Where you live by 4 o'clock, mid 80s along the coast, inland upper 80s, near 90 degrees, 87 in Sanford, 86 will be the high in Cocoa Beach, and 87 in Ocala. But here's the seven day forecast. And notice rain chances are high across the board at 60% today, Tuesday, on into Wednesday for the first day of summer. And rain chances stay high through the upcoming weekend. Ladies, Summer begins officially at 1224 a.m. Hmm. on Wednesday.